guys, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. And what do I mean, welcome back? I actually mean, welcome to Let's Play Minecraft with Mods! Part 2. 2.0, Series 2.0, whatever I'm calling it today. Holy crap, it's Chewbacca! Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys where I'd spawn real fast before I came... went back out. Why did I get an email? Let's see if that's someone subscribing to my channel! Hintity hint hint, guys. Hint did he hint hint. Holy crap, I just got a giant text. I don't care about my coworkers' availability. I'm not the damn boss. Huh. Apparently Ramza 401 SB is going to be streaming Mega Man X. I certainly hope you can't hear my f <clears throat> damn it phone continually disconnect and reconnect from the PC because I was using it to charge. Hey, a comment posted on Let's Play Leaf Green, Part 6. What did this person say? Shouting out here. Come on, come on, load. Andres CH22. Oh, he was replying to a comment I gave him. I apparently forgot to put one of my videos in the playlist, so I responded with a video response so we wouldn't have to go searching through everything. Anyway, you can see I've got, obviously, a Forge Mod Loader installed, Raise Mini Map, Elemental Creepers, Inventory Tweaks, and Timber, all the way down there. Those are the ones I always go with. A uh, new one that I'm going to be trying out is Divine RPG, which apparently adds like something like 63 enemies and over 100 blocks and items into the game. I was going through some of the items in Creative Mode, and there are a ton of them, so that's going to keep me occupied. This, this one, if I fully explore this one, it's going to take me a while. And then Metallurgy, I want to try. It looks really interesting from what I've seen. Uh, I've... I got everything from Metallurgy in here except for the add-on for Mystic Craft, since I'm not doing Mystic Craft. If the people who watched my Let's Play Minecraft with Mods series before are going to ask, I will not be doing Equivalent Exchange 3 until it is updated to 1.4.5. Right now it's only at 1.4.2, 1, 1, 1. Jesus Christ. Any hoozle. Let me just punch these trees. You may think I'm playing without a texture pack right now. That's actually not true. Uh, you won't be able to tell, though, since I'm... Um, well, I suppose I can go into creative to show you that I'm not using a default texture pack. Okay. Where is it? Where is combat? There you go. You can see that some of the stuff here is different. Uh, not all of it is, though, because this was specifically... Um, I'm not sure if uh, Sphinx did this, or whether this came default with the... Uh, with... Uh, Divine RPG. I think it may be uh, mine, but I'm using Sphinx um, BCD Metallurgy. He made it specifically for Metallurgy, so... Yeah. Oh god, I forgot to get out of creative. I'm gonna give myself two log for that. Because I'm lazy. Boop! I just didn't give myself two log. Oh well, I had my chance. Now, time to watch me punch trees for a while, which always makes for a great first episode, which always brings me many, many subscribers. Okay, let's just let me grab that. That's turning into a workbench. And you are turning into sticks. Or at least some of you is turning into sticks. Enough of you so that I can get myself an axe and put timber to good use in this forest. Okay, okay, we got ourselves an axe. Boop, 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 boop. And we're grabbing ourselves a sword as well. And, again, why I love convenient inventory or inventory tweaks. Love that little feature. And since I don't have single-player commands installed on here, I won't have that annoying little message that pops up anytime you use an axe, where it sets the position of a waypoint. And holy crap, that took down the entire tree. I guess that's one place where Timber certainly has Terraria trees beat. Holy crap. It just ripped that entire tree in half, and then how much... Oh my gosh, I got a ton of log for that. It looks like I will not be punching trees for a good point into this uh, first episode. I might be able to actually dive into the new mod. Ooh, wide open plains, perfect. I was thinking about maybe eventually doing a city like I never did with, uh... Huh, let's play Minecraft with mods part one. Season one, 2.0. I don't know what I'm naming this, but... It's going to be something. God, I love timber. It's making this so much easier. I won't have to be going for wood for days. Now I'll just have to worry about food. Uh, yeah, I showed you all the uh, mods that are installed, but 
Uh, the only one I really know, like, about intimately are the ones I've used before, so this whole metallurgy and divine RPG is going to be incredibly new to me, and thus will result in many failures and you saying, oh my god, you're such an idiot. I don't know, but I'm kind of liking this texture pack. It's not vanilla, but it's it's close to vanilla. Ow. I'm sure people who appreciate vanilla games are going to really like this texture pack. I might leave a link in the description for this. Eee. I hear a rat. Hey! What are those doing up there? Cocoa beans? Get down here. I want myself some brown dye. You, apparently you can replant cocoa beans on trees now. That's always fun. I think I got more than enough wood to satisfy her. Uh, I mean me. That's a lot of stacks of wood for this early in the game, and I've been cutting wood for like f five minutes now? Uh, so for those of you wondering about the status of my channel with all the, uh, the, the few people who actually watch my Pokemon LP, that is, you may be wondering what's going on with my channel. All of a sudden, every single video has a thumbnail attached to it. That's because I recently became a YouTube partner. Um, usually, uh, YouTube will offer partner... Oh, God, lag spike. That was Fraps creating a new video. Uh, usually, YouTube will offer a partnership to uh, their uh, users when they show their... They have to be in good standing, good copyright standing. So, if you have any copyright strikes, you need to get those removed. Otherwise, you can't become a partner. And, well... I'm not sure what the cutoff is for it, whether it's a certain subscriber amount, a total views, uh, benchmark views on the video, whatever. I really don't know what the requirement is for them to offer monetization and partnership. I know it's not available to everyone. Uh, I think everyone can monetize videos, but not everyone can uh, become a partner while monetizing videos. Uh, the main benefits of a YouTube partnership is the custom thumbnails Obviously, uh, scheduled uploading, which basically means any video you upload to YouTube, you can set to private and have scheduled to uh, come out, which is incredibly useful. I have all my uh, Pokemon videos set so that uh, my uh, Pokemon LP will uh, officially end on Christmas Day, so I don't have to worry about that at all. And, yeah, it's just generally a useful little feature. And um, another thing is the feature to... As I completely fumble over all my words... Uh, sorry, guys. Heartburn! Gotta love it. Uh, also, uh, for YouTube partners, there's the... Damn it, again! Damn heartburn, it's killing me here. Uh, for YouTube partners, there's the ability to... I cannot think. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? Anytime I do the first part of a series, it's really huge for subscribers to get into me. I'm doing it wrong! So very wrong! But yeah, but besides the scheduled uploading... Pet time to farm. Besides the scheduled uploading feature, which is obviously very nice, I have the ability to also give a, uh, presets on all my uploaded videos. For example, I have all my videos, uh, so I don't actually have to click the box automatically set to private when they're first uploaded, so if I want to upload something, I can just leave it without having to worry about editing anything. I also can change the uh, category if I only do one type of thing, which for me is gaming, so I usually would just set that to gaming. And what else? What else can I tell you guys? Oh yeah, you can also, for the descriptions, you can leave a preset there for you to start with. It makes it so much easier if you want to put something like... Uh, Actually, you'll notice people like SSOH will always use that. Usually, um, the first part of the description will always be, like, make sure to leave a like, it really helps. Which is what I'm sort of doing. I have, make sure to leave a comment, and if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Which, you know, you should do. Even if you don't like my videos, you should subscribe, just because I'm a nice guy. How about it, guys? Leave a, leave a little like and a comment, and maybe a subscription for the likable, likable man? Pity please. Okay, I'll shut up now. Anyway, the first episode, regardless of what mods I have installed, unless I run into a creeper, is really going to be the same as any normal first day of Minecraft. Find food, get resources, and find shelter. Or build shelter. It's really just the same as a regular Minecraft playthrough right now. Until I actually get into the mods and I get 
like really settled and start really mining, I can't get into metallurgy, and I really don't know a single thing about uh, Divine RPG. I'm actually going to do some research on that uh, in between parts, since this is going to be a side little LP. I want to finish Heart Gold first and Far Cry 3 before I actually get into a Minecraft series, and there's still the issue of me finishing Legend of Wilgaia. Since I finally found an emulator for it, I can go on PC. I lost my PS1 and my copy of the game in Hurricane Sandy, unfortunately. God damn that piece of crap Hurricane. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Any hoozle. Hey, a cactus. I want that cactus. I wonder what happens if I run into that cactus. I've got too much stuff on me. I better not. Hew. Oh my god, Chewbacca's back up there. I hope those things are friendly because I don't want to fight right now. But just to be safe, I'm going to make myself a wooden sword and ditch this little dinky piece of crap stone, uh, not stone, wow. What I want is a stone sword. There we are. I want to ditch this piece of crap. And it goes right back into my hands. Fantastic. I wanted to ditch that piece of crap. Ah. I have to say, I think my commentary is so much better than my original Minecraft videos that I posted. Even better than my Let's Play Minecraft with Mod series. It's like these guys are the Endermen of daytime. They're just there, just chilling. Hi? Are you friendly or angry? Stop growling at me. Are you like zombie pigmen? Okay, they, he, he seems friendly, but let's kill it. Kill it! Kill it! Oh god, this thing is stopped. Oh god, it almost killed me with one shot. No, no, stay away! Stay away! You're from... You're from Divine RPG, aren't you? Die! Die, damn you, die! Die! How many hits will you take? Peace? Peace? Peace, peace? No! I don't want to die! I'm not dying on episode one for the entertainment of my subscribers. I don't want to die. I'm not ready yet. You die. 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 What the hell are you? Oh, God, no. Take the shovel. Take the shovel to the face. Oh, that's a Cyclops. Ah, fantastic. Well, that was a good first episode, don't you think? Um, I'm gonna go run and hide like a little bitch now and cut away till daytime, so... Ah, uh, that was a failure! Note, uh, note to anyone, uh, get just getting into this, um, never run up to a Cyclops and punch it in the face with a stone sword. Never a good idea. Okay, I'm hiding like a little bitch until daytime. Okay, guys, I am back, and thanks to Ray's minimap, I can tell it's daytime now, so... Go ahead, take these two pieces of wood and immediately make them into planks. I have to start again, god damn it. I don't want to hear any of you complain, it makes for good commentary, god damn it. Now go to hell. Damn subscribers and viewers helping me out. Giving me money on my videos, which is actually not true considering I've not been approved by Google AdSense yet. Yeah. I shall be bitter toward my subscribers. I shall. Hey, I just got an idea. If I be really mean to my subscribers, just like my f stupid female friends of mine, maybe they'll love me. Hint -ity hint hint if my friend Tiffany's watching this. If you didn't know, my friend Tiffany's an idiot. Yeah, poop. Okay, I'm going to grab a bunch of wood, you know, like I do. Like, a, as a man should grab always, he should always grab plenty of wood. You need plenty of wood in your diet. And by wood in your diet, I mean female diet. I'm going to stop making sex jokes now, because I have a feeling YouTube users don't like them. And the last time I took a look at my demographics, my audience was aged 13 to 17. Even though in Canada, there's some pretty badass old dudes in their 60s watching my videos. Although, I'm not sure whether to take that as the American, oh my god, they're pedophiles, or, oh my god, those d old dudes are awesome for watching gaming videos. Unless they're watching them by accident, or the people, or their, their grandkids are watching them, which would make sense. Considering I'm a very likable man to the young people in the world. If you didn't know, I'm 22. Anyways, that should be enough wood. Uh -huh, again, I said more wood. 
Give me the wood. Give me the wood. Give me the wood. Give me the wood. Okay, I think I, I think I came up with a great great plan for how I'm going to approach these cyclopses. I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to run away from them like a little bitch, like I usually do with fire ogres and uh, mo creatures whenever I use mo creatures and technic, which is usually never. I don't like technic. I don't know why. I I just don't. Eh. It's okay. I'm just not a fan of mo creatures for some reason. I know it adds a lot, but. All right, that that should be plenty of man, man stuffs to get me settled. Until I build a bunch more materials and stuff. Okay, stay away from Mr. Cyclops. Give him a wide berth. Let them get the Cyclops boogie on themselves. They 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 don't need my interruption to get down with the down downs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm saying they're mating. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go into this little corner and recraft all of my goddamn equipment. So I'll show I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, while I was off screen, I made myself two stone swords, a stone pick, axe, and shovel. I, a stone hoe as well. I love my hoes. And, uh, yeah, fun stuff. Uh, I also took the liberty of making myself a chest and putting some stuff in there. Starting some wood burning for charcoal, and I put myself an enchantment table here, and I also named this little place Shanty. And not, and, and I don't mean Black Woman Shantae. Oh, wow. Nice. There's a cave right here. Perfect. Alright, uh, I'm probably going to go hunt for food right now. I'm, I may or may not show this, because it doesn't look like any friendly ant- PIGS! PIGS PROVE ME WRONG! Hello, duck. Thank you for food, duck. Jesus Christ, Cyclops, could you sound any more intimidating? Well, I have to say, I think that was a good way for me to find the Cyclopses to be rather a tough mob. Because even the toughest mob that I am aware of, except for the Ender Dragon, would not take that many hits to a stone sword. Why are there no sheep here? You die for not being sheep. If you're a sheep, you would die anyway. I hear a zombie. Zombie shall not eat my brain. And I th oh no, there's one more. You be dead. Hi, dude. Please don't hurt me. Oh God, he wants me. I'm going to hide. Okay. Uh, enough with me being a terrified little bitch. I think that's... I think I just committed genocide on every single animal in the area. Not entirely sure, though. There are more ducks! Chicken! Food! I will nom on you. And on you. I will not nom on you guys, don't worry. I bet they drop something good if they're that tough to kill. But if they were that tough to kill, and they were this plentiful... Maybe, oh god, I wonder how endgame-ish uh, Divine RPG really is, because Cyclopses are that tough, but they're in that high numbers, so I'm assuming, and probably rightly, that they are one. They're, they're probably really tough in their own right, but I'm guessing in the scope of the mod, they're not tough at all. And I'd rather prefer that not be the case. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cook this chicken off screen and make myself some torches, like, right now-ish. Like, other way around. How long have I been playing Minecraft? God damn. And I'm just going to place them here. And here. And... Boop. And... I don't want them spawning in my little cave As I proceed to sing Like Flary Reuter does There we go. Ouch. Okay, without further dudes, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Minecraft with Mods 2.0. I think I just settled on a name. Take care, guys. <laughs>